Their old familiar enemy, the Dallas Cowboys. But this time, the championship of the National Conference would be at stake. Just remember this, 40 men together can't lose, okay? Bill Kilmer throws two touchdown passes to Charlie Taylor. And one of the world's greatest competitors, Wild Bill Kilmer, a thrilling runner. On the final play of the first quarter, John Brody gives the ball to Bill Kilmer, who fires a strike into the waiting arms of Jim Johnson. Johnson nearly goes all the way, but Dick Night Train Lane trips him up on the five. 49ers with a run pass option play to Billy Kilmer. Clyde Cotter, touchdown. 49er point parade continues into the fourth quarter. Billy Kilmer fakes a pass and turns the corner on a 16-yard run, which sets up the final TD. Happy days are here again. Billy Kilmer throws to Monty Stickles, making it goal to goal for the prospectors. Kilmer sent Dan Abramowitz into the end zone, where he made one of the great grabs of the season for a 19-yard touchdown. One of the veterans who play an important role on this young New Orleans team is number 87, tight end Monty Stickles. Bill Kilmer countered quick. A 65-yard explosion to Ray Poe puts New Orleans in striking distance. He then looked for number 46, Dan Abramowitz his favorite receiver for the big one. And he found him for the touchdown. On a replay, Kilmer's lust and picture execution is obvious. But in football, results are not dependent on pictures. Then number 17, quarterback Billy Kilmer came right back and hit a flying Al Dodd to put New Orleans ahead 14-7. The New Orleans Saints staggered the Redskins late in the second quarter as Bill Kilmer connected with Dan Abramowitz on an 80-yard touchdown strike to give the Saints a 7-0 halftime lead. The Saints opened the final quarter of their first season with a touchdown. Kilmer to Abramowitz. Three receivers go on for New Orleans. Here's a pass. It's complete. It was Billy the tough Kilmer and not Nifty Joe who opened the game with a stunning strike. With early Thomas and Chris Farisopoulos in his wake, Roy Jefferson brought home the bomb. Kilmer went for it all, found Charlie Taylor free behind everyone for a 53-yard advance to the Giants' 12-yard line. The play might well have been a touchdown, but Taylor, in stretching for the ball, lost his footing and was down. Then Billy Kilmer hit his first pass of the day. Frank Grant's bobble forced him to go out of bounds at the two instead of in the end zone for a touchdown. With less than two minutes left, Billy Kilmer faced a brutal Viking pass rush once more. And Billy Kilmer completed four excruciatingly clutch passes. Fourth completion went to Frank Grant. Bill 
Kilmer spotted a cowboy blitz and changed his play at the line. Then he prayed for enough time to get the ball away. Kilmer beat the blitz and Mike Thomas set up a go-ahead score. Come on now, come on, no mistakes, no mistakes. Billy Kilmer, newly returned from a shoulder injury, brought the burgundy right back. And Billy Kilmer threw for 204 yards. This long strike to Roy Jefferson. The 50-yard throw-and-go from Billy Kilmer to Roy Jefferson left Washington the only undefeated team in the NFL, winning in the rain in Dallas 2016. Green and Riggins, and the pass is complete to Bugs. And Danny Bugs to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This shows the old pro in action. Stays with the receiver, leads him in there. Danny came across. Danny runs well with the ball after he catches it. No one's going to catch him. He's a 9 4. Billy Kilmer threw for three second half touchdowns. The first one went to Charlie Taylor, who barely kept both feet in bounds. On their next series, Billy Kilmer hit Jerry Smith with a 25-yard touchdown pass. And the half ended with Washington leading 14-6. Kilmer then burned the Packers with a 32-yard rope to Roy Jefferson, who'd gotten only a step inside Willie Buchanan on a post pattern. Then running Taylor on a square out and hitting Roy Jefferson slanting over the middle, Washington advanced the ball deep into Detroit territory. Second down at five. Going back out to Roy Jefferson. Touchdown, Jefferson. Oh, he drilled that down. He did for a fact. Then even Wild Bill Kilmer found his long lost spiral as he connected with a pretty 32-yard toss to Roy Jefferson, number 80. The expression is one of easy confidence. In Billy Kilmer's case, that means four touchdown passes on opening day. The first couple went to number 42, Charlie Taylor, who after last Sunday's contest needs but 46 more receptions to become the leading receiver in professional football history. After Charlie finished his acknowledgments, the 35-year-old Kilmer was airing it out again, this time to rookie number 36, Ralph Nelson. Then Mr. Kilmer wrapped up the whole thing with a perfectly executed pitch to number 87, Jerry Smith. As the offense also burst into production with Billy Kilmer to number 80, Roy Jefferson, connecting twice for scores. Billy Kilmer resurrected a favorite old play, the post pattern, to almost forgotten Roy Jefferson, number 80. George Allen's Redskins are resilient. So often they are knocked down and prematurely counted out. And with Billy Kilmer repeatedly nailing his receivers in a ball control passing attack, Charlie Taylor, number 42, Roy Jefferson and Jerry Smith cut and tore short and deep through the Broncos secondary adding up an impressive 30-3 victory. Charlie Taylor got way behind Emmett Thomas, and the result was a 49-yard pass play to the Chiefs 33. Kilmer, 
Looking for Roy Jefferson. He has him down inside Ram territory. The ball at the 32-yard line of the Rams. The Redskins, the second down and eight. Gilmer going deep for Dowler. Dowler or McNeil in the end zone. Clifton McNeil. That was thrown right on the money. Gene Howard was the man that Clifton McNeil got behind. What a happy moment. Play fake. He's got him open again. Clifton McNeil. Getting away from Gene Howard who finally makes the stop, but he's inside the Rams' 10-yard line. Gilmer moved the skins to the four and again hit Taylor, and again Taylor did his thing. Cool hand Bill behind perfect protection hit a streaking Charlie Taylor for a 23-yard score. Billy Kilmer subbing for the injured Sonny Jurgensen, the Redskins offense started to roll. Billy Kilmer was given one too many chances, and behind airtight protection, he threw a rainbow to Clifton McNeil that tied the game at seven. Holding the hot hand, Kilmer dealt another arching spiral over the Cardinals' secondary to Charlie Taylor for the payoff and a 14-3 lead. 